Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm troubleshooting an Audi Q2. What's happening is uh, <clears throat> um, occasionally when I'm acceleration, uh, basically what's happening is when I'm accelerating, sometimes I get a loss of power from the acceleration pedal. It feels as if the throttle is not uh, being effective. Um, as if there is some starvation of fuel or something but, but there is no engine light whatsoever that pops up on the dash so i've got myself an ansel vd700 i'm trying i'm going to try to pick up some fault cords from that and let me see what happens from there so i've connected uh, the obd2 a cable under my steering wheel. So I'm going to try to read the fault codes. Uh, So that's my problem there, I have to investigate what's happening on the fuel pump. Both of your hands <coughs> under each side of the seat, you pull upwards at the bottom of the seat. After pulling the seat, you see the metal clip that clips to the bottom of the seat. That's all you need to pull, to pull upwards. Careful not to damage the seat belt uh, connectors there at the back. So I've taken out the uh, car seat. So this is what remains when I take it out. So this is the cover for the fuel pump where I suspect the issue is um, you've got some clips here, here, here there, there so you just pull it out to, you just hear it uh, I'm clipping and you pull it out but also you have to pull the the cable clip from here, this rubber insertion. And once this rubber insertion is pulled out, you can slide the cover.
feel bad. We've got this the fuel hose. This is the cable that comes from the fuel pump control unit. The fuel control unit is tucked by the side here. So what you do in order to pull it out, you take your, there's a, a clip on it that holds that fuel pump control unit on the side. Um, you push the clips upwards, then you pull the fuel pump control unit. Okay, then the pump is the problem. Before I do any electrical tests on the fuel pump system, I'll need to remove the fuse. So I'll open the bonnet. Then I check on the cabling. Um, it took me a bit of time. Um, and the cabling is okay. So there is no genuine shot on the cabling itself. So the first thing I'm suspecting is either the pump or that control unit. So I'm going to give a thorough check on the control unit itself. Then, if it turns out okay, then the pump itself. When you're removing these connectors, the first thing you do is push there at the front of the connector where the cable is, uh, wires are getting in. Then you you sort of pull back the clip at the top. So this D connector is pretty simple, it just goes in one, one way. Um, you see these numbers, that, well probably you might not see clearly, but these number 1, 2, 5, 4, 5 pins. These correspond to the numbers there on the top there. Uh, this will be the same as my new one. If have got numbers 1, 2, 5 then I just push it in.
when you're pushing in your deep connector if you don't hear a clicking sound that means it didn't get in properly you should always hear a clicking sound when it uh, reaches the full length inside <laughs> 